Oh man, oh man, oh man, not again. Track yeah, masters. I learned the game from Down William Wesley, radio. you can never check me. Back to back for the niggas that didn't get the message. Back to back like I'm on the cover of Lethal Weapon. Back to back like I'm Jordan, 96, 97, whoa. Now, moving on to one of the most craziest grudge match matches in hip hop Jadakiss versus Beanie Siegel I mean I was aggressive. that was aggressive I was aggressive that and that started Jay Z uh, Jadakiss went on the radio saying that he feels like Philly rappers are biting his style of course Beans is gonna feel some type of way then they just I remember he went in on that Jadakiss beat I forgot what, what knock it, yourself out <laughs> and he just went in it was crazy it really got really got real messy that was a you can't even really pick a winner with that you can't because it was just so aggressive and they both was going off. And Beans is, because you know, Jade is top five. He's my favorite. Both of them is top five to me. Yes, and, and I definitely respect you saying that because a lot of people wouldn't put Beanie Siegel in their top Beanie five. Beanie Siegel was one of the best rappers ever. On he some is. lyricist shit. Like, on some lyricist. Yeah, Siegel, Siegel is that nigga. Um, Kiss, of course, we already know where Kiss stands. Mm -hmm. He's one of my favorite rappers ever as well. So it's hard to pick a winner. But they both had different edges on each other. When you can't talk about hip hop fuse without mentioning Tupac and Biggie, only because it wasn't Tupac and Biggie only. It was the East Coast versus the West Coast. It was Bad Boy Records versus Remember at the Source Awards. That's classic. It was just real, real, real nasty. And you know, of course, I know you're from Harlem. And it's how I was a baby. I was a baby too. Oh I'm yeah. I'm 31. So mm, I'm 24. We was baby. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, but you I mean, really was a baby. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know. I was like 11. But 12. you know, when you're a hip hop lover, you know, you you that's a, a crucial time. So mm -hmm. you know, I did research and you know, listened to all the battles, and it was just crazy. You know, the media even dubbed it a coastal rap war. Like it was crazy. Because the media really started that. Like they did. You know, talking to Snoop and and, and him like giving me the rundown of the mm -hmm. the climate of that time. It really wasn't as deep as people thought it was. Mm. You know, it was kind of like. A media fiasco with them making it hmm. bigger than what it was. And that's uh. it, but that could be negative. I remember once I was watching a Method Man interview, and he was like, because Method Man like, doesn't do much press. He has something against, like, you know, black press. And he was just saying how they, they should they should have stuck a bullet over that beef because y'all yeah. are making it hot. Like, it's not that deep, and it shouldn't be that deep. It wasn't that deep. Wow. At least let you know, let them tell it. It wasn't that deep. So the most most current feud, which is Drake versus Meek Mill, that was the topic. That was the reason why I wrote this um segment because, you know, we didn't have a hip hop beef that mattered in a while, you know. And the question I have about this one is, when we was waiting after Drake dropped, you know, he did the Twitter, he went on Twitter, whatever. Drake dropped, charged up, and as we were all waiting patiently for Meek Mill's diss record, when you heard Meek Mill's diss record, was you surprised? Surprised that what it was that bad? Or yes. Surprised. Like, what were your thoughts? Like, was you like, like, <laughs> what was your? I thought? was surprised it was that bad because I'm I'm a Meek fan. I was a little dis. I was not a little. I was a lot disappointed. Yeah. Because I he from Philly. Yeah, and we all. So heard. it was like you know, and Philly is our neighbor. So it was like. Yeah, and we this all Canadian nigga do that, but at the same time, that nigga's that good. Mm. You know, so you can't really can't really play with a nigga like that mm -hmm. you gotta go straight for the juggler and it was you know it was like a dark skin light skin thing like nigga yeah. lost light skin nigga. but i think <laughs> true but i think the bars is what matters you know i mean back yeah, to back is in rotation most. now back that shit to back is, is a record it's a we record will always it's play that and listen always. to that record like always we'll always praise those bars it's a bit on that disheartening record. But it is. But shout out to both of them because they both got rich off that shit. Nobody really lost. And they're both honest, great. You know? But but you know what's odd? Some people think that Meek Mill got Ja Rule. Like they think that he's done. And I just and Rick Ross said earlier, like he is not done. Like that's, what is wrong with you? Ignorant. That's ignorant because people you want him to be done. See exactly. That, you know, but he far from done. All you got to do is just go do some dope shit. Put out dream dream chaser four and just go crazy. Yeah, you know? so write some crazy hooks and get everybody back on it. Cause you know how people, you know how the fans are. Blame like, it on Instagram, man. Yeah, social network. <laughs> okay, so moving on, Dizza. What have you been up to? I seen, I heard a song like a half of it. You just recorded a song with Rick Ross. Yeah, I did. When is that dropping? Um, I'm not sure. 
But uh, we got a really, really good record. Um, it I got this album with Pete Rock that mm-hmm. um, we've been working on for a few months, and it's that's the home for it, that record. Okay. So um, I don't know. I got two other projects that I'm that's coming out before that. Okay. Are they like mixtapes, like a pre? Nah. I stop. I mean, I don't want to sound cliche, but all my shit be albums, pretty much. Like I call mixtapes like what Big Mike and Clue used to do. Oh, you yes. know, we're rapping over that niggas' instrumentals and all. Yes, yes. You know, if I'm putting out original content on original instrumentals, original beats, then I'm not really um doing a mixtape as an album. Mm-hmm. So um, I got this Harry Fraud EP, Harry fully Fraud, produced by Harry. With him. Yeah, this is like our second installment, mm-hmm. but it's not a part two to what we did before. Mm-hmm. So like a whole new approach, and then um, I got my album which is coming out in February. Okay, called the Stone Age. The Stone so, Age. Yeah. Okay, and you have a date for that. That's that's great. February. Yeah. And I, okay, okay. So that's good. Now, last question. I wanted to ask you about. You know, you're you're pretty established right now in your career. I wanted you to tell me about struggles that you faced along the way. Um, struggles I faced along the way. You know, I still getting, face struggles. On. Of I, course. Still, you know, still every day is a is a new struggle. I think um, the whole weed rapper stigma. That was a bit. Yeah, that bothered you. That, that bothered me a lot, but now it really doesn't. I think um, it bothered me at a time where they was trying to highlight New York and, and trying to find like the new guys out of New York. Okay. And it used to aggravate me that I wasn't mentioned. Okay. Um, and I yeah, and I felt like I was better than everybody. I still do. Well, I'm very relevant, and, and I'm going out weed. there, and I'm rocking, and they treat me like hove. They yeah. don't speak English, but they know the words Isn't to my that shit. It's amazing. It's very amazing. That had that's amazing. So I mean, that used to bother me. Um, this whole underground shit bothers the fuck out of me. They don't still consider you. Yeah, I mean, cause I don't, I'm not. On mainstream radio Yeah that, you that, know, That's but, probably why But all the mainstream Radio DJs Is all in my phone And they all know so what it, it is So it's kind of like You know It's kind of mm-hmm. like A monkey on my back It ain't really stopping my bread Because I don't really care About the radio like mm-hmm. that The radio is not gonna make A break smoke dizzle Yeah It would be nice To turn on the radio And hear smoke dizzle But if I don't Then it's not stopping None of my paper I, don't, I, I still can go to sleep Very nice at night So mm-hmm. I mean, just the underground shit, it, it kind of hinders. Mm-hmm. Being you know, underrated a Being bit. that all my friends are mainstream and, you know, it's kind of like um, I'm like a super senior. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and like all my mm-hmm. friends that went off to college mm-hmm. and about to like graduate and get great jobs. Yeah. And I'm the super senior. I can understand that. You know, so yeah. that's, it's, it's, it's annoying. Let me ask you something, being that shit a master smoker. What's up? My friend, right? She's like so annoying. She's like a weed head, you know? And like weed she, heads are annoying? No, no, no. But you know, when it's your friend sometimes, does she keep trying to like make you drop Oh, that's, that's like fat boy. He's mad annoying. <laughs> And she, don't think you leaving with my weed. <laughs> exactly. She always like only like go to the store. She only gets backwards. Oh, she smoked backwards. Mm-hmm. She's a thug. She and from it's like It's like no. She's from Staten Island. And like I was looking. It's like difficult to roll. Like what do you use? Vanilla Duchess. I'm a Dutch oh, yeah. master guy. Oh, that's that's pretty I'm old school and, and, and classic. Old school? No. God <laughs> damn. Oh, because they can't. <laughs> Golly. No, because they came out with blunt veils and white wait, not white. White owls. White owls, Phillies. Zigzags. All that shit old school. That's not old school. That's what, not old school. No come more. on, Check you know what out. I mean. See this Thanks. new crafty box and all that? Oh wow. That ain't old school. You know, some places in Staten Island, you can't buy single. You from Staten Island? Yeah, too? I'm from Staten Island. Might be the prettiest girl from Staten Island. Oh ever. my gosh. That is so mean. That's a compliment. What? That's a compliment. You've been out there? Yeah, it's just like Baltimore. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love you though. I mean, what, it's all good. What part of I'm saying Island was you in? Wherever Emilio Sparks is from, I'll be over fucking oh, with Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Emilio Sparks. Shout out to him. He started yeah. at the radio station. I started at. Shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Serious, right? Mm-hmm. Well, smoke this again. Thank you so much. No doubt. No doubt. No Next doubt. Next project, you know, February. We're gonna do it again. November. November is the. Oh, you said you have two coming and one in February. Yeah. Okay, so November. What is it called? He has risen. He has risen. Okay. He has risen. He has risen. And when is that dropping? Like the exact Black Friday. Oh, oh, okay. I think it's November twentieth for some weirdo shit like that. Okay. Some. some All right. We're gonna look out for it. Yeah, look out for me. Strictlyhiphop.com. Kush God Smoke Dizza, and you're tuned into Strictly Hip Hop.
Right. Patrick Ewing, Patrick Ewing, yeah we got it cheap, nigga Patrick Ewing.